No. Welcome to the second annual. I'm your host, Ben Shapiro. This video is sponsored by Black Rifle Coffee. And last year famously was Kelly Stavis, the Let's Go Brandon Award. You can hear the chants from the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. This year, the award goes to Karine Jean-Pierre. I mean, that's literally her job, is to pretend that Joe Biden is a sentient human being. But she's really, really bad at it. Every press secretary does a lot of spin, but Karine Jean-Pierre is officially the world's worst press secretary. We have many examples of Karine Jean-Pierre being terrible at her job. Here's just one. What is the latest update the White House has received on the current formula situation across the country? Yeah, let me see if I have anything new for you on that. Okay. I don't have anything new. I know we made some announcements last week. Oh, this is so whack. Okay, this is like unwatchable, hopefully. There's maybe more. Okay, let's see. What is this? Incredibly close race between Will Smith, Ye West, and Amber Heard. Will Smith, because he just slapped Chris Rock on stage for no apparent reason. Oh, wow. And Amber Heard, because she actually lost a defamation suit against. Bro, how the fuck do you put the Amber Heard thing and the Kanye West thing with like Will Smith? God, I that one is like so wild to me. People are, people still talk about that. Like, like was it that big of a fucking deal? Like, I, I don't get it. I, I, I truly don't understand why people still talk about Will Smith slapping, like as though it was like a big fucking deal. Who gives a shit? No one remembers that shit. And I said it at the time, like, I was like, no, no, that's not serious. But like, people fucking lost it. Against her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. But. And people go, it was literally assault, Lamont. Dude, I know, I know, okay? I know, I know, I know. But also, you have to remember that, like, you know, these motherfuckers have known each other for 35 goddamn years, okay? You're out of your fucking mind. Ye West has to win this category because Will Smith, eh, that dude will survive. His career will be okay eventually. Amber Heard, she didn't have, like, a tremendous career in the first place. Ye West went from being worth about $2 billion to being worth maybe less than I am because he was standing for Hitler. It turns out that when you wear a True. black Kanye did over your face... Kanye's fall from grace this past year is unironically the biggest fall from grace, perhaps in history. I know it took a lot of... I know it took a lot of time, okay? But, like, he developed... So much good grace from millions of adoring fans over the course of a long and very successful music career and then basically fucking one-tapped it. Like, people were willing and able to defend him when he was being, like, a divorced father. Like, in the most divorced dad way possible. All over the place, like, talking about fucking skeet. Skeet Davidson. You know what I mean? Like, people were just fucking... People were still defending him, but, like, he did what you can't really do. Which is, like, say you love Adolf Hitler, which he did. Give it time. Elon is a strong contender. Honestly, I agree. The only person who's, like, fall from grace could potentially be... Uh, uh, you know, to the same degree as Elon Musk. But his legion of dick riders are still going pretty strong in, compar in comparison to Kanye. Ace, while talking about how Hitler was a wonderful dude. I see good things about Hitler also. And carrying a small net and a yoo bottle talking about Netan yoo What did you think about that, Netan? You are an insane person. With Nick Fuentes. Yeah, glommed onto power and used it for their own power. Man, neck and neck race between Hunter Biden, who ran around picking up bags of cash using his daddy's name while snorting Parmesan cheese off the carpet, and Meghan Markle, whose job it was to be a suitcase lady. What? Wait, what? He's saying Meghan Markle is leeching off the... The what? What is, he, what is she leeching off of? Like, she was like an independently successful... Literally an independently successful actor. What the fuck did the Royals ever do? No, I, I actually don't understand this. This is, this is not a joke, okay? You can hate Meghan Markle all day, every day, uh, and say that, like, she wasn't that great on Suits, whatever. But, like, she literally did have a career 
right? Like she actually went and got a job, auditioned, acted, made her own fucking money. You know what I mean? Like the Royals have done nothing that they have not been handed. They're fucking Royals. That, that this is kind of the point. She, at the very least, like her, hate her, doesn't fucking matter. At the very least, had like a level of merit, okay? Like she worked. She was a working actress. Very odd to just say that she's like a leech. And everybody's mean to oh you. Oh my God, he's still talking about it. Category. He talked about it a lot. Most likely to desecrate a historic artifact. Lizzo. Lizzo, yes. <laughs> now, here's the thing about Lizzo. What? Why? Why did Lizzo desecrate the historical artifact by like letting her lips touch it? Like, I don't understand. Bro, this list is like. What's going on? Is this just like black people's year? Is that what it is? So far, every single category has been... Oh my God. Every category has been a black person. Oh my God. Oh my God. I guess not Hunter Biden. Oh no, just kidding. That was Meghan Markle. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, Ben. You got to find one non-black person here that fucked up this year, right? That's crazy. <laughs> In the library of yeah, Ben was like, Oscar's so white. Well, guess what? Ben, ben Shapiro's award show, all black, except they're all the villains, the biggest villains. Congress, as I pointed out, and it was delightful. She played some classical music on the flute, and that was fine. Because cool. And then she went to a concert and she twerked with it. And it was really quite horrifying. And it was obviously designed to elicit a response from- No, it wasn't. No one cared. Only you cared. Conservatives tried to make this happen and it didn't turn into anything and it was like really fucked up. Okay, let's see who the most- Twerking with it in concert. Elsie and the next category. Most underpaid person in American political life. Elsie Stecker. You've never heard of Elsie Stecker, have you? Joe Biden's sign language person. That is a rough job because how exactly do you sign language? Trump lumbers and also the fun I hate when he tries to do jokes. It's like so, so awful. Okay, biggest reach. The next category. That was a reward, by the way. Reward given to a white person. <laughs> he is biggest reach, biggest reach. Okay, so we have a lot of contenders this year for biggest reach. Like what was the most preposterous argument? But. The winner today, Stacey Abrams, who actually said. There ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way. What is going on, bro? No shot. There ain't no fucking what the fuck. He literally has cut five minutes out of the 14 so far. Every single like loser award winner is black. The one individual actual reward for like the most underpaid person okay the only positive award was given to a white person what is happening there ain't no way this is like what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> said that ultrasounds are a conspiracy of the patriarchy like i don't even like i don't even like stacy i don't like half the people that he's like shitting on Okay, but this is wild. Like, what the fuck? Why'd you make this video, dog? This is crazy. How science works, but the good news is, that, all right, next category, most nationally damaging fake news story. Well, there are a bunch on COVID, but we're going to have to go with the changing definition of inflation. Okay, stop. Stop memeing. Oh, God, it's so gross to see a meme. Okay, can't give that to a black person, so just went with inflation. Lifetime Achievement in Hackery. Glory. Lifetime Achievement in Hackery Award goes to Whoopi Goldberg. This is overdue, really overdue. Whoopi Goldberg is maybe the biggest hack in American media. Her statements this year 
that everything is racism except for the Holocaust. It's not about race. It's not about what race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to- Are you fucking joking? No way. There ain't no fucking way. That's, this is, this has got to be deliberate. Okay. I, this is all black women, dude. Who took the biggest L this year, according to Ben? Black women in general. Just bad across the board. Top to bottom. Bro, what is going on right now? No, 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 no. This is like... What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> the only time Ben Shapiro wants... <coughs> A bunch of black people winning awards is when it's his award show where he's just shitting on black people. Man. After all, the Jews are white people and the Nazis are white people. So the nation. Oh, they're so Hollywood terrible. On to the next category, which is worst influencer. Wow, there's so many terrible It's got to be a white person now. Come on. Bella Hadid is a terrible influencer. You got a bunch of Hollywood stars who are terrible influencers, but the clear winner in this category, runaway winner in this category, Dylan Mulvaney. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, finally, we moved on to trans people. Okay. Which is a weird thing to say, but like, it was like, there's got to be one person that's not black, right? Like that, it, that Ben thinks is a bad person. And of course, they're trans, obviously. <laughs> Why are they the worst influencer? Because they're trans, you know, uh, of course. No, nothing else. You don't need to really say anything else other than that. Just... Let's finally transphobia. <laughs> Ben's Ben broke the combo. Ben broke the anti-black combo with uh, by sprinkling a little bit of transphobia in there. You know, you know he had to do it for the one time. Obviously, okay. I really thought Andrew Tate. Maybe he would have put Andrew Tate in here, but like, you know. <laughs> Because sometimes, because like it would have been valid, but it would have been funny also because he, Andrew Tate is also black. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. <laughs> a dude who says he is a lady and then goes to the White House and does an entire sit down with the president of the United States in which this dude cosplaying as a lady. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait, why? He's being so mean is treated as though he is a lady and an advocate for female rights. This person got a contract from, like, a tampon company, which raises a few very... She literally made jokes about it. Like, she was making a joke about very it. Very awkward questions, considering that Dylan Mulvaney actually does not have a place to put back this rifle. Most embarrassing moment. Okay. God, Ben is such a fucking loser. ay ay ay. Anyway, isn't this the definition of transphobia? Yes. Yes, of course this is the definition. Ben is a very transphobic person. Okay? And of course, to go along with the TERFs oftentimes don't fucking pass narrative, Ben barely fits the rigid gender norms that he uh, claims are, are, you know, hardened considering that I myself and Ben are both men, cis men, you know, that should probably allow him to understand, you know, at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. But Ben doesn't understand that. It should help him understand that if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. But Ben doesn't understand that either. But you can chatter if you want an uninterrupted Broadcast experience, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free or by getting gifted a sub. Here's the three-minute ad break now. Moment. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of bad moments this year. Joe Biden's bike fail was the close second place contender where Joe Biden fell off a stationary bicycle. It wasn't like he was moving the bike and then the bike went over a bump or something. He literally stopped his bike and then he fell over. But the most embarrassing moment is when 
He now. Oh my God, we're back. Oh my God, we're back. Rainy draws a lot. Thank you for the 30 of the subs. Oh my God. Oh my God. He was like, well, I'm going to do a little bit of transphobia here. And then we're back. We're back to black women. What the fuck? What is happening, bro? Oh my God. Bro, this is crazy. This is actually fucking insane. What is happening? Like, Ben Shapiro has so far said that the, the first uh, black woman on the United States Supreme Court, okay, is bad. She said, you know, uh, actress and, and television show host uh, Whoopi Goldberg is bad. She said celebrated uh, musician, talented musician, as a matter of fact, is bad. She said Stacey Abrams is bad, and she is actually bad, but, you know, not for the reasons Ben thinks she's bad, because Ben thinks she's bad because she's a black woman. Um, she said Meghan Markle is bad for being a leech. Did I misgender Ben? I'm sorry. I, that was not on purpose. Okay, um... This man just straight up, this man just straight up is like, <laughs> you know who America's biggest villain is? Biggest villains are just black women. That's it. Member of the Supreme Court, Hitanji Brown Jackson, literally was asked what a woman was and couldn't answer the question even though she is. Okay, fucking, what is this worst show? The next category, worst show. Well, th this is a clear winner. I mean, there, there are a lot of bad shows this year. Really, a number of tremendously terrible shows. But the worst show of this year and of all time gutsy it is literally okay. hillary and chelsea clinton rolling around the country Fair. talking with obnoxious Fair. people about Fair. a lot of black women were featured in this show he's, he's like hillary clinton and chelsea clinton were running around talking to black people worst show of all time <laughs> political points that make no sense while feeding themselves at the same time it's pretty it's pretty horrible in case you didn't see it, I actually cut a video of myself watching Gutsy. Gutsy. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. Stop trying to be funny. Reporting. This was a, a really close race between morons who actually glued their heads to paintings and threw tomato soup at paintings. Controversial win for formerly the, the artist known as Rain Wilson. You remember him from being Dwight Schrute and nothing else. Literally nothing else. <laughs> Okay, we got it. There's one. Here, here we go. <laughs> okay, finally. It's not just black people, guys. Okay? Attention! Also, very weird that he has, like, an entire category dedicated to climate denial, uh, denialism. That's cool. The Wizard of Word Salad? What? You can always appreciate when he was an Uber. The Wizard of Word Salad. It is a wizardess because the winner is Kamala Harris. Or a wizard, Harry. That lady, she loves a lot of things. Spoke too soon. Oops entirely too soon back at it again oh my god oh my god oh my god it's just oh my god that's crazy that this is wild this is like all the black people ben knows i think no it, it, it's literally the show is just like every single black woman that ben can name has been named i think we, we this has to be the end of it okay there's no there's no more there's no more black women like listen this is a relatively racist society there's not a lot of black women in positions of power okay so he's gonna run out of black women okay to, to shit on i'm just saying there's a <laughs> she loves school buses who doesn't love a yellow school bus Events. She doesn't know what the next one's but sort of. Oh, so many nominations. This is easily every year the hottest category. So here are the nominations. Oh, so many it? nominations. This is easily every year the hottest category. So here are the nominees. Jimmy Fallon. Stop, 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 stop. Stephen Colbert. Trevor Noah. You can't call mom. I never touched your face. Never touched your face. Jimmy Kimmel. Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy. Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy! So Fallon falls out of the running pretty early here because he's just not up to par. He's just not up to that competition. 
Trevor Noah is leaving his show and also is on a little watch show on Comedy Central. So it comes down to Stephen Colbert and Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, we got it. We got We got it. It's, it's just... They, he took out the black guy from the from the running, okay? Oh, for a second, I thought it was going to, the curse was going to be, you know, it was going to be continued. Okay. He's beating the racism accusations, okay? Stephen Colbert, just an agitprop activist on behalf of the Biden administration, and Jimmy Kimmel, who is all of that, plus preachy as all living hell. We're going to go with Jimmy Kimmel. Love that they used the Black Lives Matter clip for that one, too, by the way. Mainly because at least Stephen Colbert never had the temerity to bring his wife on to lecture the audience about it. It's like, it's like the honorary mention. You know what I mean? The honorary mention of, like, you know, don't worry. We're actually going after Jimmy because, you know. Abortion. I'm sounding the alarm, Jimmy. Abortion rights are gone or in danger in 26 states. How Jimmy Kimmel went from being the sports guy on K-Rock 106.7 in Los Angeles to being the woke pope of late night comedy is beyond me, but apparently that's, that's a thing. The next category is worst trade deal. Leah Thomas is one of the nominees who traded dignity, like not racing against the ladies. We're back, we're back to trans people, okay. He's social media clout, like beating the hell out of ladies because he's- Oh no, Brittany Griner, don't say government. Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner for the merchant no! of death. I mean, most obvious no, that's like, that's all of it. Of that's it. Said, that's literally every black woman Ben knows. No. Lane Crane put it, the only WNBA trade that anyone has ever noticed. I'm going to go Brittany Griner for the Mercedes. No. Trade no. Deal. That, was, that was not a good trade deal. Come Worst on. Trade deal may be ever signed anywhere. And the next category, cringiest race pandering. Again, lots of nominees here. Pretty much all Democrats. The winner this year, the greatest doctor of all time, Jill Biden. Oh. Saying that Latinos are Oh. To breakfast tacos. The diversity of this community, as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. And uh, also, Si Se Puede. Si Se Puede. The future is ours. We're on to the next category, which is most leftist tears. Close call. Roe versus Wade being overturned and Elon Musk buying Twitter. Oh. Bro, you're like, you're pushing 50, bro. You're pushing 50. What the fuck? Most left is tears? Oh, ew, gross. This just demonstrates how crazy the left is. The answer, does this demonstrate how crazy the left is? Like, what? First of all, this is so stupid. No one gives a fuck about this. He's just like fucking up twi uh, Twitter. Who cares? He just fucked himself over. Okay? But like, the other one is like a dramatic undermining of of civil liberties for half the fucking country that literally led to the red wave uh, becoming just a red puddle, you know? What the fuck? That's crazy. He's like, ha ha, we did it. Oh my God, Jerry's Pizza, the best pizza in Romania. Okay, it's not real, bro. That's like a fake account. Hope you enjoyed the pizza, Mr. Tate. Make sure to order the Taste of Revenge here. Like, I don't give a fuck that a billionaire lit $44 billion on fire, okay? I don't care. That's not... To put that in the same category is, like, wild to me, Okay. Straight up.